fears. Um, you also can um, learn out, learn a little bit more about me on my website, DelilahBartlett.com. Um, a lot of good information there uh, if you're interested in um, some other avenues of um, opportunity or engagement opportunities that I have, DelilahBartlett.com is going to do a great job of highlighting those um, so that you can connect with me. So this, week, this week's topic, if you had not heard, um, if you had not seen on my social media, is the, the real imposter syndrome. So it started off actually with imposter syndrome. I wanted to come and talk a little bit about that and the barrier that it can be to great leaders. Um, but then it morphed into what I believe um, is the real imposter syndrome. And I'm going to invite you to um, consider, this, uh, consider, consider this perspective in just a little bit. But before I do that... Um, let's cover the traditional um, imposter syndrome. And so I posted it on my uh, social media, but um, just I wanted to give some definition to uh, imposter syndrome as we uh, commonly know it today. Um, the Harvard, uh, there's an article in the Harvard Business Review that um, just says that uh, imposter syndrome can be defined as a collection of feelings of inadequacy that persist despite evident success. So basically, you feel like you're you're not the real deal, even though you got the proof, even though you have the um, reviews, even though you have the commentary from leaders around you. Um, you feel like somehow uh, you do not belong. It goes on to say that imposters suffer from chronic self doubt and a sense of intellectual fraudulence that over that override any feeling of success or external proof of their competence. Um, now, I'm not just going to read this to you. I'm actually going to share just a brief story. I remember having uh, this feeling, and I'm, 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 I'm kind of sure some of you have had this as well. That's why um, it's been put on my heart to share. Um, some of you may even be suffering from it now where no matter what you do, um, no matter how much success you have, you still somehow feel like the seat at the table really doesn't belong to you. Um, it may be because, um, I'll, I'll just share this with you. For me, not everybody at the table looked like me. And when I say looked like me, not just from an appearance standpoint, not just from an eth ethical um, ethnicity standpoint, um, but also from an educational standpoint, a background, social economic, like the people just did not look like me. And so as I sat through the at the table, although I would get um, great feedback, I still kind of felt like somehow they're going to figure out I'm not one of them and that I don't belong here. So I figure out that I'm a fraud, right? Imposter syndrome. And so I want to encourage you uh, uh, two things. If this is you, um, you, you, you got to deal with it. You got to know that you're, you're great enough. Um, you're, you're worthy enough and you do belong at the table. You have to look at the proof. Um, you have your reviews, you have, uh, uh, the feedback that you've gotten from your coworkers. You have successful projects, you have businesses, you have ministries, wherever this, um, this video finds you today, you have proof that you can look back at and say, I'm surely not an imposter because I have proven success. The second thing that I would want to um, encourage you to do, um, and I invite all of us to do, even those who of us who may not suffer or may not have um, encountered imposter syndrome, again, imposter syndrome being, although you've had success, you still have this fear that people are going to think you don't belong or somehow you're going to be exposed, like you're really not the real deal. Um, even if you've not dealt with that, I, I want to introduce now um, another perspective on looking at imposter syndrome. And so in order to do that, I want to take I want us to take a look at the definition of the word imposter. And so when I looked up the word imposter, and I believe this was from Oxford, um, a person who pretends to be someone else in order to deceive others. And then it goes on to say, especially for fraudulent gain. So an imposter, again, and for those who are taking notes, is a person who pretends to be someone else in order to deceive others. So this is someone who shows up pretending to be someone else in order to um, make, make people think that they're someone else. And so where the traditional definition of imposter syndrome is uh, you're you, but you don't believe you is good enough. The definition of imposter is you're just not even being you. And so what I what I the note that I took that I wanted to share um, with you guys, um, the notes that I took earlier when I was really looking into this is the true imposter syndrome is not the fear of not being who people think you are, but 
but being but not being who you are. That is the true imposter syndrome that I would like to present to you guys today and invite you to consider, invite you to reconsider the definition of imposter syndrome. Again, not being fearful that someone's going to find you out to be who you true, um, be who you, you know, tr who you truly are, but you showing up not being who you are. And so one of the things that I really believe that can help us out in either situation, the definition of the true, um, the traditional definition of imposter syndrome or the definition that I've just invited you to consider is knowing who you are. And when I say knowing who you are, meaning who you are and why you are, what purpose do you serve in life? What is your destiny and calling? Why do you show up every day and, and, and play in the places that you play, engage with the people that you engage? If you know that, if you know that the opportunity for you to feel like an imposter by any of those two definitions is 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 minimal or at minimum reduced significantly. I wrote here, the clearer we get on who we are and why we are, it becomes more difficult to be an imposter. This clarity allows you to sit and engage with others with confidence. Thinking about the traditional meaning of the term imposter syndrome, clarity on who you are and why shifts you from being fearful, right? Because the original uh, definition was about fear. Clarity on who you are, why you are in a case of that definition of uh, imposter sy syndrome shifts you from being fearful that someone finds you out to being excited um, that others get to know you. Uh, so you're no longer sitting there in that case of, oh my gosh, they're going to find find me out that I really don't belong here. But I, I know who I am. I know why I'm here. I know what contribution I make. Um, and so I'm excited that others get excited because I'm in the room and they get to engage with me and learn who I really am and the value that I'm going to bring to the environment that I've just entered. Or if we consider the um, the definition that I've invited you to um, consider, which is um, uh, imposter syndrome is not being who you should be and who you are because you're mimicking other people because you don't think you're valuable enough. Um, if, if that version, uh, then this is, um, then the real, the real, the, I'm sorry, then, then the real imposter syndrome is actually the definition should be simply showing up unauthentically. And so I, I really want to encourage us to take the mask off and simply be us, um, not showing up to be like someone else, not being fearful that somebody's going to find out that that we aren't who they thought we were, um, but being more conscious and concerned about being who we know we are, being who we know we are. And I know that's kind of heady, especially for a short 10 minute chat. But again, these are um, small segments. If anybody wants to chop this up a little bit more with me, you're welcome to do so. Um, Delilah Bartlett um, at dot com or the leader at peers at gmail.com or any social media platform where you find me. We can definitely dive into this. But at the end of the day, the takeaway for you, bottom line is true imposter syndrome is being an imposter, not being your authentic self. Feel free enough to be who you've been designed to be. Show up with the power of knowing who you are and why you are as far as your contributions to society. And feel free to just rock out, talk, take off your mask and be you. So that's what I have for you guys this week. Talk Leadership Tuesday. Every Tuesday, you can find me here. Share it with your friends or um, those who you believe can, um, uh, to, can benefit from what we're sharing and doing here. Again, if you've not heard my ethos, my core belief is that the power to change the communities, our nation, our world, the desire that we, we the, the change that we desire to see, the power to do that lies in each one of us. I thank you guys for joining and I will talk to you soon. Take care.